I've been using the cyber knife since its installation at uh, Swedish for the past four years, and I would estimate that I've probably treated somewhere around 150 to 200 patients. Uh, the cyber knife has been a real advance in uh, being able to deliver radio surgery to specific targets um, within the cranial cavity. For the tumors that I treat at the skull base, cyber knife is extremely effective. Even for tumors that are located in very critical, delicate areas. Meningiomas, for example, uh, have a control rate in excess of 90% with CyberKnife treatment. The same is true for certain kinds of pituitary tumors, where the CyberKnife can control or prevent regrowth in 90% or more. Removing the first 90% of the tumor is relatively safe and can often be done through a very minimally invasive approach through the nose or through a limited uh, opening in the skull. It's that last 5% of the tumor that is particularly attached to the critical structures that holds most of the risk. With the cyber knife, I can make the decision about not taking a risk surgically because I know that I have an alternative, effective, and safe treatment for that risky part of the tumor. It can be easily fractionated so we can deliver doses uh, over an extended period of time, usually five days. So you can get a little bit of a higher dose of radiation in over a longer period of time and minimize toxicity. Whereas the standard approach for radio surgery previously was to deliver the radiation in one dose. That's riskier for the radiation sensitive structures like the optic nerves and it often really limits the total dose that you can apply to the tumor. The major difference between gamma knife and cyber knife from the patient experience is the fixation or the immobilization of the head during the procedure. With the gamma knife that requires a application of a head frame which is literally attached to the skull. With cyber knife, the mask is very comfortable and there's really no untoward effect of wearing the mask. If you look at surgery versus radio surgery, the radio surgery is definitely less invasive. There's no anesthesia. They're just uh, resting comfortably on a, in the treatment facility. The treatment's delivered, it's painless, and they go home the same day. My practice has substantially changed since the advent of cyber knife. Whereas 20 years ago, the obligation for these kinds of tumors was to remove them entirely and accept the risks because you really only had one chance to cure the tumor surgically. Now I can treat the tumor in a multimodal way, remove only a part of it, the safe part, and leave the risky part of the tumor for radiosurgical treatment. Because of that, the outcomes are better, fewer complications, and the patients generally do better. Thank you.